This AI video editing tool literally cuts down your video editing time by 100%, which means it takes no time at all. You have to see it to believe it. This thing has saved me 30 to 40 minutes for each YouTube video that I release. So let me first tell you a little bit about my recording process. So I use something called OBS Studio to record, and it's a screen sharing platform. It's completely free to download. So if you want to download it for yourself and start creating videos like these, and what I do is I do things on the screen and I talk about them while I'm doing them. By default, OBS outputs videos in a very large file format. So if you're going to try this process, go to settings and then output and then copy my encoder settings. I'm using CBR. The bit rate is 5000 kbps. My computer usage preset is ultra fast, but if you have a strong computer, if you have a beefy one, you can even lower that to something like faster. But for me, it lags everything. So I'm going to keep this at ultra fast. And with these settings, you should get an output at around one gigabyte per 30 to 40 minutes of recording. So then I hit record here and I talk about my app or I talk about new chat GPT features or I go over the latest AI news. After I finish recording, I throw the raw video into a software called Timebolt. Now Timebolt is a paid monthly subscription software and allows you to select your video and then it automatically goes through and cuts out all the silence, leaving only your sounds and your voice. It originally cut down my video editing time by 50%. It already removed the silences for me, but I still had to go through and watch the video, listen to it, and cut out all of my mistakes. Depending on the video length, so let's say after it cut all the silence out, there remains 15 minutes of sound. You would usually have to double that for editing time. So 15 minutes would be 30 minutes of editing because you have to go through, you have to listen, you have to cut, and you have to splice. And when you're done, you would export the video. While exporting the video, you really can't do anything else on your computer. It's really resource intensive. So I would try to edit my video and then export it before I had to leave to do something else. So I had to plan my whole day around editing my videos. Now, what if there was a way to do all of that and more using an AI agent? That's why I built this AI video editing tool. You can find it at youraiagent.com. And with this, it's the world's easiest process. I personally use it for all of my latest YouTube videos. The video you're watching right now was edited using this AI agent. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use and then teach you a little bit about what's going on in the back end. This is truly remarkable, AI is amazing. So what does it do? AI video editing transforms raw footage into a polished final cut by transcribing your audio, refining the script using AI to improve flow and clarity, and then intelligently splicing the video to match the enhanced script. The result, a smoother, more professional video without the manual editing hassle. And there's a quick word of note here. AI video editing isn't perfect. I need you to expect a roughly 5% margin of error. And I'm so curious if there are any errors in this video. I know I've made some talking mistakes. So we're gonna see in the final cut, you're gonna be watching this. You're gonna see what the AI agent chose to keep in and what it removed from the script. AI video editing is also gonna get better and better. And if you can expect that, and you're not a perfectionist, this tool is going to work great for you. It's gonna save you so much time. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is upload your video. Now there's currently a max file size of two gigabytes, and that is a browser limitation. In theory, the back end Python script can do much larger than that. And I'm gonna find a way to increase that size. But for now, that's the limit. So click to upload a file. For example, this one right here. The larger the video, the longer it's gonna take to upload. So please be patient. And once that has been uploaded, you can click start agent. This button animation is gonna spin for a bit while it's loading in the back end. What we're doing is we're sending your video to a Google storage bucket, and that's where our Python script is gonna interact with your video. So again, the larger the video, the longer this is gonna spin for. So just keep this tab open. You can go do something else. Then once it has loaded, you can click okay. It will take you to the workflows page. 
where you can click on that newest workflow. And if it's still processing, you will see some text that says, please check back later. But this video file has been completed. So you'll get a download link. It's also going to send a download link to your account's email address. And again, processing time depends on your video file size. But we're talking about anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes in your download file. You're going to get a zip folder. And in that zip folder, there are three files. There's the edited video. This is the final cut. There's the transcription.json. So we transcribe all the audio in your video into text. And then there's the suggestion.json. And that is what the AI model thinks should be left in the script. And it's without everything it thinks it should be removed. So for example, step one, the AI agent extracts the raw audio from your video. This is going to create a smaller file size so that we can send it through through a transcription API. Step two, it down samples that audio to again shrink the file size. Step three is it finds the sound parts in your audio, which effectively removes the silence and it time stamps those parts in the video. Step four is we transcribe that audio and we're using OpenAI's Whisper. We send all of that audio through and we get a transcription of text. Then we chunk that large transcription because it could be a very large JSON file with lots of text. We chunk it into 3000 character chunks. That makes it easier for the LLM to edit the text. And what we do is we send that through the API and we tell the large language model. You can use GPT-4 Omni, O3 Mini High, even the new GPT-4.5 all through the API. You tell it, hey, this is my script. Can you please cut out the mistakes and clean up the flow, only keeping the meat and potatoes from the script? And I want everything else cut out. And then we send that back and we create the final video edit. It takes that JSON body with those timestamps and then cuts and splices the video. So you get a nice, smooth, full output. For example, this is a transcription of a previous video. You can see the start point at 10 seconds. I said, Wes, do you have a workflow that will pull Google Trends? And that ends at 15 seconds. And then at 16.38, also known as trending now, that ends at 18.25. And this is transcribed the entire video. Then after we send that through the large language model, we get this suggestion. So you could go through here and see that it removed all of your mistakes. And we know it's different because the file size is smaller, which likely means there is less text in the video. Then you can take that final video and upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or your website or anywhere you want to use that content. If you want to try the AI video editing tool for yourself, if the coding parts of this video were interesting to you and you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and turn them into a profitable web app, check out my online course, how to build a custom AI app. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch and I'll see you in there. Peace.